Alrighty, hello everybody. Welcome back to these nerdy things. I have three packs of Weatherlight today. Um, I know the last time I did this opening, um, I hit a null rod, so um, that was awesome. Uh, but maybe we'll get one of the uh, rare lands. Um, those are pretty good. There's a lot of uh, pretty nice um, land, rare lands in this set, um, as well as some other pretty cool cards. And who knows, maybe we'll double up on uh, one of those old Null Rods. So, all right, uh, fourth one in. You can take a look at the commons. This um, definitely has um, uh, some good commons and uncommons, too. Sage Owl, Gilded Spike, Flux, Goblin Vandal, Dwarven Berserker, Zombie Scavengers, Blood Rock Cyclops, Soul Shepherd, Imperial Armor, Alanoir, Druid. Alrighty, our uncommons, Festering Evil, Gemstone Mine, that is one of the uh, good uncommons there, um, very nice, good old Gemstone Mine. Noble Benefactor is our third uncommon for the first pack, and what is the rare? It is blue. Um, Ancestral Knowledge? I think Pendril Flux, something like that would be nice. Urtai's Familiar, 2 mana, 2-2, two, two. Summon Illusion, Phasing. If Urtai's Familiar leaves play, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. And then uh, one blue mana for Urtai's Familiar cannot phase out until the beginning of your next upkeep. So this card phases in and out. Oh, wow, sorry, I made my camera go a little crazy. Um, that's kind of how that works with that's what phasing means um, is that it counts as on the board and then the next turn it does not so in case I don't know there's a lot of people that haven't really played um, with that style of stuff before all right pack one pretty good pretty good it's also mind stone in this set um, yeah lots of goodies Four. All right, here we go. Commons Harvest Worn, Abjure, Flux, Goblin Vandal, Blood Rock Cyclops again, Soul Shepherd, Kithkin Armor, Spinning Darkness, Barrow Ghoul, Choking Vines, and Tendrils of Despair. All right, Uncommons for pack number two, Buried Alive. Search your library for up to three creature cards and put them into your graveyard. Shuffle your library afterwards. Okay, so a little bit of uh, graveyard shenanigans here. <clears throat> and we have Guy's Blessing. That's just super cool artwork there. Two mana target player shuffles up to three target cards from his or her graveyard into his or her library. So if you want, you can take them out with Buried Alive. And then put them right back in with Guy's Blessing. And you draw a card. Um... And if it's put into your graveyard from your library, then you shuffle your graveyard into your library. Look at that. All right, last uncommon here, Cone of Flame. Does the old one, two, and three damage to three different targets. All right, and what is our rare? It is blue again. All right, looking for the same things. Havazoa, I have one of these. Actually, I have one of these from back when I originally played um, uh, with this set. So it's just a 2-2 two, two flying for 4, and skip your next untap phase, and it gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Um, so not very good, but uh, at the time, I remember, I loved flying creatures. So, All right, two blue rares into the last pack. Jesus, this one is kind of... This pack has kind of fallen apart. Oh, one, two, three, four. Alright, let's look at these commons. Haven't gotten a Mind Stone yet. Briar Shield. Alms. I mean... So, like, if you look at this, like, I don't know, the style of it is just, I just love that style. That, that to me, feels like magic, whereas, and um, 
kind of Seb McKinnon kind of does that nowadays, has this like style, like old school feel. Um, you know, whereas nowadays, I think, I feel like everyone's trying to be too cool for school. Instead of putting their own style on it, they're trying to make it like, oh, look at how epically cool this looks. Whereas like these ones, I mean like mana chains, like, uh, you know, like it, it doesn't have the like super stylized, like Lanoir Sentinel, it's just like a, a picture of a dude with a, with a bow and arrow, you know? So, Lava Storm, Woodward Tree Folk, Abjur, Angelic Renewal. All right, our last batch of uncommons here, Strands of Night, an enchantment, pay two black, two life, and sacrifice a swamp, and put a creature card from your graveyard into play. All right, so that's not bad. Fairy's Veil, another enchantment. When any creature you control attacks, it phases out at the end of combat. Okay. And then our last uncommon here is Master of Arms. Three mana, two two soldier, first strike, pay two, tap target creature, blocking Master of Arms. Okay, I don't necessarily know why. Wh so why would you want to tap the target creature that's blocking it? Because it's already blocked. So after you declare blockers that's when you could use this but then they're still gonna like you can't use it as like unless it had like a tapped ability on it that they were gonna use I don't know that's kind of dumb <laughs> I don't know where you would use that so all right what is our oh my goodness we're going three for three with blue rares okay come on pendril miss come on um was it ancestral no um something not ancestral knowledge psychic vortex Ooh, look at that look at that eye cumulative upkeep draw a card for four mana okay at the end of each of your turns sacrifice a land and discard your hand <laughs> all right that is interesting so okay oh you did get a gemstone mine um got three blue rares i don't i, I like i said i have the avazo i don't think i have these two though so that's pretty cool to add to the collection so all righty everybody thank you very much for uh spending some time and uh watching me open these things um like i said if you guys have any um uh, like recommendations or anything like that let me know um otherwise yeah if you want to subscribe and keep watching these uh these pack openings uh that would be cool so all right everybody have a great day